traffic rules. When mediocre students brag that they have boyfriends or girlfriends driving a car, wise students study hard to buy their own cars. And it is for this reason I want to address those wise, focused students who will be driving soon. I want to tell you the traffic rules of life. Rule number one, know where you are going. It does not matter the make of your car, it does not matter how much petrol it has. The moment you get inside the car, you must know where you are going. In life, as a student, the moment you join that school, you must ask yourself, where do you want to see yourself in the next five years? Ask yourself, which career do you want to be in? In the next five years, ask yourself, which university do you want to go to? Which college do you want to go to? When you know where you want to go, then from that moment, you will take deliberate actions to move in that direction. You will not be a friend with time wasters. You will form friendship with people who are going the same direction so that you get there. In terms of your academic, syllabus coverage, assignments, the assignments you do, you know why you are doing them and why you should finish them in time and why you should understand everything in the syllabus so that at the end of the day you focus on going where you want in your life. Traffic law number two, know your car. I know my car too well. Even when it breaks down, I know how to open the bonnet and check the problem and I can fix it. I know my car too well. You also need to know your car too well. Your car is yourself. Know yourself so well. Know what you are capable of doing. Know your talents. Know what you are created, you are born to become. Know your purpose. Know your environment around. Know your school too well. Know your teachers. Know your subjects too well. That is your car. You need to know your car so that you can drive it safely. Traffic law number three. Don't carry strangers. There is a saying that goes, if you hang around with five wise men, within a short time, you become the sixth wise man. If you hang around with five genius, within a short time, you become the sixth genius. If you hang around with five idiots, within a short time, you become the sixth idiot. So, never carry strangers in your life. Strangers are people who are negative. I remember one time I gave a lift to a stranger who kept on uh, at giving me very negative words, very negative words remarks and aniambia oh my car does not have speed he was telling me ati oh igari nen aki nitachelewa kwani ikimbi kwani yo gari yako ikimbi imagine and i had given him lift and then we are overtaken by a prado and then he told me ah he says and your gari imagine so when you are driving when you're in your car never carry such strangers they will be showing you your weaknesses they will be condemning you and once you are condemned, you don't go very far. There are others, strangers who are even bad. In fact, I carried one. Alikwana Shika staring, he was even trying to drive. Eh? Hooting when I'm driving. Don't carry them. Who are these strangers in real life? These are people who want to engage you in poor boy girl relationship. You are you know where you are going, you know your car too well. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and they want to engage you into immoral behaviors. They say that bad morals corrupt even saints. So you can be corrupted by their bad morals. Run away from them. Don't carry strangers in your life. And in case you are tempted to carry any stranger, carry the positive people, mentors, people who will guide you, people who will inspire you to do great things. Those are the only people you can carry. But any other stranger, don't. It's better to be alone than to be in a bad crowd.
or a negative or an immoral group. Traffic law number four. Focus on where you are going. The car is designed in such a way it has a big windscreen and very small side mirrors. If you focus on side mirrors, you will cause accidents ahead. So, when you are in your car, focus on where you are going. In real life, so many people are not successful because they focus on their past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Be an architect of your future. God created us with our eyes facing in front so that you can focus on where you are going, you can focus on your future, you can focus ahead and not where you are coming from. You don't have powers to change your past, but you have powers to change your future. So, as you get in that car, focus on where you are going. Traffic law number five. Respect road signs. In a road, there are so many road signs like zebra crossing, palms ahead, things falling, no entry, children crossing the road, animals crossing the road, and many others like these ones. All highways, all roads have road signs signs respect them if you don't want to get into accident for example when a road sign shows you slow down slow down because maybe there is a sharp corner slow down there is a river they tell you slow down the road is narrow why they are informing you of things ahead of you so as a student there are so many road signs in your school your teachers are part of them they will tell you they will give you advice Good advices from your teachers are road signs. Respect those advices. Good advices from motivational speakers. Good advices from your chaplain, from your principal, from your deputy, from your parents, from people who are wiser than you. Respect them. Even in some schools, they have signs written everywhere. This is a drug-free zone meaning that you're not allowed to take any drug. Those are road signs. I have produced a poster that talks about the four dresses girls are going to wear. And we warn you, we tell you this, dress number one is the school uniform, followed by graduation gown, followed by wedding gown, and then finally maternity dress. They should follow that order if you want to succeed respect those road signs you are given by people when you are given good advices in the cu church yc's mm, they have some days that they have devotions we, we we have weekend challenges we have days whereby you are being cancelled those are traffic signs that are designed for you to succeed traffic law number six don't overspeed. Speed kills. Waswahili usema haraka haraka haina baraka. But the question is, why do people speed? Why do people want to speed their cars? It is simply because of poor planning. You know, the journey from Nairobi to Mombasa or from Nairobi to Kiambu is one hour. Then you start your journey 30 minutes late. What happens? You try to cover the 30 minutes by overspeeding. And the more you overspeed, you are likely to cause an accident. If you don't want to cause an accident, what you are supposed to do is to wake up early and prepare your journey. In fact, if you know the journey will take you one hour, you start your journey one hour, 30 minutes before. How do you apply this? in your day-to-day -day life as a student. Start working hard right now. Do not wait until the last minute, until you're in Form 4. That is the time you want to do so much work, which you have not been working. You're wasting time now, waiting for the last third term. When you're in Form 4, you cannot capture everything within 
three months what you have lost in three years. So what you're supposed to do, you do your work ahead of time. You wake up early. Even some schools will um, introduce some early class lessons whereby parents pay something small so that they can support that program and they start covering the syllabus as early as 6.30 or 7 so that at the end of the term you realize you are ahead of time. But if they waited until the last term to cover everything, that will not be practical. So you have two things that you need to remember. There is a pain of discipline and pain of regret, which is more painful. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret, decide. Number two, there is something else that I want you to know, that you may play now and pay later. Or you pay now and play later. What I mean, people do not plan to fail. They only fail to plan. So, start planning your life now. Don't wait until the last minute. Somebody said, if you visited a dentist early enough, you're going to save your tooth from decay. Plan your work early. Do not rush the last minute. Kenyans rush the last minute. Even when there is a deadline. Even when there is a voter registration. And then they are given 30 days. Nobody will go there. But the last two days, there is overcrowding. Eh? Asking the government to extend. And this is because they don't plan. They don't want to do things early enough. So don't be like those Kenyans. Start planning early to avoid overspeeding. Kwa sababu, haraka haraka, haina baraka. Traffic law number seven. Know the traffic rules. In the court of law, they say ignorance is not a defense in the court of law. So, you need to learn all the traffic rules so that you can get to your destination safely. If you overspeed, you'll be arrested by traffic police. In life, as a student, I want to tell you, in your school, there is school rules and regulation. Maybe I can pull out one from a school I know that says you must be in school uniform all the time. You have to follow that law, traffic law in your school. As a Christian, we have the Ten Commandments. Those are, if you're a Christian, you need to follow them. In our country, we have the Constitution. You need to follow them. So everywhere you go in the world, we are governed by rules, and regulations. Follow those rules and regulations to the latter. And that is the only way you will succeed. If you are supposed to go to school, the opening date, go and open at that time. Know the school calendar. You do what you are supposed to do at the right time. Remember, rule number seven, know all the traffic rules so that you are not in trouble. Traffic rule number eight. As a Christian, when you're starting a journey, you must pray for journey masses. Pray. Put God, involve God in your journey. The book of Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And if God is on your side, who will be against you? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So, as you start your career, as you start your education, do deliberate action of praying. Praying for God to guide you through that process. Pray every day. Don't wait for a prayer day. I don't believe in a prayer day. I believe in a prayer every day. And once you pray, you ask God for guidance. 
He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. You'll always succeed in whatever you do. Because when you connect with your creator, everything will be possible. Everything will work for you. So to love God is to hate sins. So when you are on God's side, nobody can defeat you. Nothing can go against you. And with that, I wish you all the best as you start this journey of life.